Ho, ho, ho. It's that special time of year again. Plenty of booze, mistletoe, and of course, presents. So whether it's for you or someone else, here's our list of the hottest holiday handsets. But first, a quick disclaimer. We've intentionally left the iPhone 3GS off the list because, well, it suffered from media exposure overdose and has been reviewed to death. There's also the HTC Hero, which is a highly recommended phone, but we feel it's high time that HTC's other handsets get the spotlight. In addition, please bear in mind that our list highlights the most recent phones on the market, and we try to be as diverse as possible in regards to operating systems and vendors. And of course, depending on where you live, these phones may not be available or may be under a different name. Now that that's out of the way, let the countdown begin. At number 10, it's the Ink Mini 3G. Now this is a good low-cost handset for someone young who wants to stay connected on the go. At first glance, it looks like a bog-standard feature phone, but in fact, it's a powerful social media device with clients like Facebook, Twitter, instant messaging, and Skype. At number 9 is the Samsung Genio Touch. Now this colorful and cheery handset has a 2.8 inch touch screen and comes with customizable interface that lets you put widgets onto the front page like Twitter, MySpace and Facebook. It does lack Wi-Fi, GPS and 3G, but it does come with three bright changeable back plates. Hey, for a budget phone you can't have everything. At number 8 is the LG Pop, another affordable and compact touchscreen phone. It has a nice aluminum body, a 3-inch display, and features a 3-megapixel camera, web browser, and multimedia player. The phone uses the S-Class user interface that can be found in its higher-end devices like the LG Chocolate, making it a low-end smartphone for not a lot of money. At number 7 is the Sony Ericsson Pureness Limited Edition phone. Now this is a super fancy handset that doesn't do much but look pretty. Its core functions is talk, text, and tell time. And for 649 pounds, most people will not be swayed. But the phone is out of this world when it comes to design. Take a look at this translucent screen and T9 keypad below, which lights up when touched. If money is no object, then why not gift this mobile for that uber luxurious person in your life? but it's only available for a limited time, so don't procrastinate. At number six is the HTC Tattoo. Now, if the HTC Hero and the HTC Magic were to have a love child, it would most likely look like this Android-powered device. The Tattoo has the look and feel of the Magic, but is more compact. And it has the same HTC Sense user interface, which we first saw in the Hero. This budget Android phone lets you personalize up to seven home screen panels with different widgets, shortcuts, and wallpapers, and you can even design the phone back cover. How creative. At number five is the Vodafone 360 H1 by Samsung, which runs on the Limo operating system. The phone features a 3.5 inch touchscreen, which isn't the most responsive phone we've come across. But this device is centered around social networking as it integrates your instant message chats Facebook updates and tweets all into a visual address book. And number four is the Motorola DeX. The touchscreen smartphone with a slide-out full QWERTY keypad is on the clunky side, but its standout feature is the Moto Blur software that integrates all your social networking sites. There's a universal inbox where you can view all your messages across all your platforms in one screen. And number three is the Nokia N900 for all you hardcore geeks. This Linux-based smartphone runs on MIMO 5 and feels more like a mini-computer than a phone. In fact, that is why Nokia is calling it a mobile computer. The hefty N900 has a 3.5-inch touchscreen with a slide-out QWERTY keyboard. Its fast processing power, customizable interface, great multimedia features, and the fact that it supports Flash might just make this the most exciting thing Nokia has released in a while. At number two is the BlackBerry Bold 9700 for you Crackberry addicts out there. Now this revamped version is noticeably smaller, sleeker, and lighter than its predecessor. There's now a touch-sensitive trackpad rather than a trackball, which makes for seamless navigation. It runs on BlackBerry's new 5.0 OS software, which has better browsing, threaded SMS client, the new BlackBerry Messenger, and direct access to BlackBerry's app world. Go on, we know you're craving it. Finally, the moment you've been waiting for, the hottest handset for the 2009-2010 holiday season. 
Drum rolls, please. The HTC HD2 is the winner. Yes, the very same one that runs on Windows Mobile 6.5. So if you're familiar with my work, you know that I've criticized Microsoft's operating system in the past. But wow, this phone is really impressive. It could be because it's the first Windows phone to have HTC Sense UI or the large 4.3 inch screen that can literally stop traffic. Although it's quite a wide phone, it has a super fast 1 GHz Snapdragon processor and an ultra responsive touch screen with customizable Windows and Sense applications. This phone will definitely be high on my Christmas wish list. Well there you have it, the top 10 hottest holiday handsets. So what phone are you gonna get? Leave a comment below the video. Thanks for watching, I'm Leila Mackey and see you guys next time.